Conservation. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll introduce conservation as well as some of the traditional ecological knowledge used to conserve resources. Conservation Introduction Conservation involves the safeguarding, maintaining, protecting, and wise management of natural resources. This dodo bird is an example of modern extinction after humans destroyed the forests that they lived in and introduced animals that ate their eggs. Traditional Ecological Knowledge Biodiversity is conserved because of traditional ecological knowledge. Some tribal communities have maintained soil fertility, soil moisture, and water regimes. Ethnobiology is the study of the past and present interrelationships between humans, plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as the relationships between ecosystems. Conservation of water. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll introduce the need for water conservation, conservation and management, rainwater and harvesting, and watershed management. Water conservation. The groundwater stored in spaces in the soils and cracks in the rocks is the one we tap for our use. Goals of water conservation sustainability, energy conservation by reducing the need to pump water, and habitat conservation. Conservation and Management Management practices involve the reduction or improved beneficial use of resources. This requires an action, behavioral change, device, technology, or improved design or process implemented to reduce waste or use. It requires a combination of both traditional and modern technology and some good civil engineering practices. Rainwater Harvesting Catchment area describes the area that is drained by a river, sometimes called the river basin or watershed. Catchment can also describe any device or area for catching water. Collecting and using rainwater, which normally runs off on natural or man made catchment areas. Rainwater in industrialized areas may not have the same purity as the rainwater in rural areas. Rainwater harvesting techniques. Recharging of rainwater by any scheme that can add water to the water table is useful. How can a home act as a catchment? By funneling water off the roofs and the driveways into catchment areas, rainwater may be caught. Also by funneling rainwater off of walkways into catchment areas. Storing rainwater for ready use in containers above and below the ground. Watershed Management all watersheds are a system that guides all precipitation and water runoff to a common body of water. Dissolved substances, pollutants, and trash are brought to the watershed. Watershed districts are areas managed by the government and monitor and regulate the use of water within the watershed area. Conservation of Soil in this segment of the tutorial, we'll introduce topsoil and its loss, the maintenance of soil fertility, and soil erosion control methods. Topsoil Topsoil is the fertile upper part of the soil. It's the most productive, rich in organic content, with adequate moisture, with a rich biodiversity. Topsoil is usually the top 2 to 6 inches and has the highest concentrations of organic matter and microbes. 
Soil Erosion and Weathering Soil erosion is the displacement of solids like soil, mud, rock, and other particles by ocean currents, wind, water, ice, or the sloping of the ground, gravity. Erosion is different than weathering, which is the decomposition of rock and particles through processes where there is no movement involved. Soil erosion occurring now is a result of man-made disasters. Maintenance of soil fertility Healthy soil is a key to sustainability. Soil health depends on its nutrient content and moisture. Techniques to maintain soil fertility include farming with diversity, growing legumes, green manuring, and animal manuring. Soil Erosion Control Erosion control usually involves some sort of physical barrier. Barriers may include vegetation, rock, wind, or water breaks. This is a riprap. It reduces the erosion of the banks along a river or a lake. Reforestation can act as a windbreak. Terraces save soil and improve water quality on this farm. And wire baskets may act as a retaining wall on this hill. Strip cropping and terracing. A farming soil saving technique in which tilled and untilled soils are provided in alternating strips on the contour of a slope. Terracing. Terracing is a procedure used on steeper slopes. A long slope is converted into a series of flat, broad terraces using a machine called a terracing grader. Wind breaks and mulching. A wind break or shelter break is typically made up of one or more rows of trees or shrubs planted in a way to give shelter from the wind to prevent soil erosion. Mulching is another way to protect plants. Usually six to eight centimeters of covering is placed on top of plant stubs. Conservation of forests. Introduction and maintenance of biosphere reserves are discussed in this segment of the tutorial. Forest Conservation Introduction. Forests are natural ecosystems with a multi-species composition. They cover about a third of the Earth's surface, 50% of which is the tropical forest. Techniques Techniques of forest management include reforestation, control of disasters, restrained cutting, and selective cutting. Development of a forest in a deforested area to ensure sustained yield is a method used. Disasters in forests include diseases, pests, and forest fires, and these may be controlled. Process of harvesting forest trees at random, but judiciously, year after year, without giving much scope for the depletion of the forest wealth. This has to be better regulated. The recycling of paper to reduce demand for pulpwood, allowing standing dead trees and fallen timber in situ, leaving debris to retain habitats for wild animals, will help conserve the forest. Systemic methods in which evenly aged trees are harvested in blocks. This practice should be curtailed or at least better managed. Biosphere Reserves There are four zones in the biosphere reserved core, buffer, restoration, and experimental zone. A biosphere reserve is an undisturbed natural area where everything is protected in its totality. Conservation of wildlife. 
In this segment, we'll introduce the objectives and the methods of conservation of wildlife. Conservation of Wildlife Wildlife conservation includes animals and plants in the wild. Conservation efforts are focused on protecting, preserving, managing, and studying wildlife and wildlife resources. Wildlife Conservation Goals Preservation and perpetuation of endangered plants and animals. Another goal is to enforce the wildlife laws. Finally, a conservation goal is to manipulate the wildlife population to better manage it. Conservation Methods Two major methods of saving wildlife, in situ conservation and ex situ conservation. In in situ conservation, it includes the establishments of national parks, sanctuaries, and biosphere reserves in the wild. Ex situ conservation involves conserving biodiversity in settings that are controlled by humans. The examples of this includes breeding captive species in zoos, conserving plant species in botanical gardens, and the storage of seeds of genetically diverse plant species. 